Dumpster diving, the act of pilfering perfectly good leftovers out of grocery store garbage bins, has become a worldwide phenomenon. Its members protest capitalism and consumerism by taking enough food for themselves and then depositing the rest to those in need. Copenhagen has its very own chapter of dumpster divers, who meet once a week to gather ingredients, which at first look less than appealing, but are later turned into delicious feasts for the divers and other lovers of free food. Though their efforts could be viewed as noble, store owners and authorities are hesitant to allow these people to take advantage of waste and food expiration laws, and they run the risk of arrest, not to mention contamination. We set out to discover the ideas and motivation of the subculture going up against social norms. On a beautiful Tuesday evening in spring, a group of about 40 or so gathers for dinner on a field near the Kerskehallen Center in Norbro, after meeting at the KFEX Cafe. The cost for this dinner that feeds all who come? Free. In this day and age of skyrocketing food prices and global hunger, how can such an event take place? The story starts late the night before on the dark streets of Copenhagen. Every Monday night, when darkness descends upon Copenhagen, small teams of darkly clad people spread across the city in search of excess food that has been thrown out. We followed one of these team members, known only by his first name, Andre. This experienced diver of six months knows close to every dumpster in Copenhagen, knowledge passed down through generations of fellow divers. Often, the best pickings are the ones protected by high fences, as dumpster diving is technically illegal and supermarkets do not want to be held accountable for the food that is taken. But with simple ingenuity, like a makeshift step fashioned from a discarded board, most obstacles are surmounted. At some places where I know people who actually work inside okay. there, so they tell me which days are good coming, because, uh, yeah, which days they throw things out and things like that. Uh, I thought it was a very good idea uh, because I have had some problems with that I that I feel that I'm sometimes uh, I don't want to buy in these great supermarkets but I have to because there's so many things that you cannot get uh, from from elsewhere so I'm very happy to to can get that it's possible for me to can get out so so I don't have to buy for them and don't have to steal from them. The next day, the dumpster divers return to the KFEX Cafe to prepare their spoils for that evening's meal. This process includes taking an inventory of the food, cleaning it, and preparing it. All of these culinary efforts create a delicious bounty enjoyed by the dumpster divers and their friends. It's both because of the free food, but it's kind of a statement uh, in a, what we call the capitalist world to make uh, to do something non-profit and to take what what has been thrown out, and uh, you will not consume as much uh, because of you making dumpster diving. Um, so it's you can say it political, but it's very strange to talk about it in that way. I think because. The dumpster diver is a, how do you say it, a very different person because some dumpster diving because of their needs, because they need it, and other dumpster dive because of other needs, like making a food for them for very cheap money, and other dumpster diving because of their politics and because of their thing about making a non-profit world. I, I, I don't like to go into supermarkets. Especially like if you see the Netto over there, it's like if you buy something in the inside Netto, they just uh, they also support the different parties uh, like uh, Venstre and Dansk Folkeparti and Conservative or Radical Venstre. In the so um, I have like I'm very glad that I can go dumpster diving, and then uh, the other things I need that I have money left so I can just buy them in vegetable shops and things like that. I don't have to go into the supermarket. Despite their noble ideals, the future is uncertain for this band of environmentally and socially conscious do-gooders. Just this week, the KFEX Cafe was raided and forced to shut down due to health and sanitation code violations, leaving the group temporarily displaced. Still, look closely the next time you're out and about late on a weeknight. Down a dark alley or behind a corporate food conglomerate, 
you may just see Andre or one of the other divers looking for social justice in the trash.